Once upon a time in a bustling city, there lived a man named Samuel. He was an ordinary man with an ordinary job, working diligently in a cramped cubicle from nine to five. He had a secret, a treasure hidden within him that he cherished above all else, peace of mind. Samuel's co-workers often marveled at his ability to remain calm and composed, even when faced with tight deadlines and demanding clients. They would ask him, how do you stay so calm in this chaotic world? He would simply smile and reply, there is no greater wealth in this world than peace of mind. One sweltering summer day, as the city sizzled in the heat, Samuel received an unexpected letter. It was from a long-lost friend, Emily, who had moved to a remote village years ago. She invited Samuel to visit her and experience the tranquility of village life. Samuel, feeling the need for a break from the city's frenetic pace, decided to accept the invitation. Upon arriving in the village, Samuel was immediately struck by the simplicity of life there. The air was crisp, and the only sounds were the rustling leaves and the gentle babbling of a nearby stream. Emily's small cottage was nestled among lush green fields, and the view from her porch was breathtaking. Over the next few days, Samuel and Emily spent their time reconnecting and reminiscing about old times. Samuel marveled at the harmony of the village, where people lived in close-knit communities, helping one another without the rush of city life. He learned about their sustainable farming practices, their appreciation for nature, and their simple yet fulfilling way of life. One evening, as Samuel and Emily sat on the porch, sipping herbal tea and watching the sun set over the horizon, Samuel realized that he had found something truly precious during his visit, an even deeper sense of peace of mind. It wasn't just the calm exterior, but an inner tranquility that had grown within him. Emily, noticing Samuel's contentment, smiled and said, You see, my dear friend, there is no greater wealth in this world than peace of mind. It's not about where you are, it's about finding it within yourself. Samuel nodded, knowing that he had discovered a priceless treasure. As he returned to the city, he carried the serenity of the village with him. He continued to work in his cubicle, but now with a newfound perspective. No matter how chaotic the world around him became, he held on to his peace of mind, a treasure far more valuable than any riches. And so, Samuel's life became a testament to the wisdom he had learned, that true wealth was not measured by material possessions or external success, but by the peace and contentment that resided within one's heart.